in this recording, we will see how we can trade the price updates for one or multiple items altogether. These price updates will take place once you will be using the HQ or the chain as the back office application. Now we are going to see how we are going to create the price update. For creating the price update, you have to go to the price list. Under the price list, you will find the price updates. Click on the price updates. Then you have to click on the create to create a new document for the price update changes. Once you click on the create, a new update form is appear. In this form, you have to select the effective form date. Basically, effective form date is the date from when you want these changes to start reflecting on the POS. You can select a future date. You can select the current date. By default, it will be coming for the next date. In this example, we are going to make the changes for today. So we will be selecting the current date as 8th. Now we have to click on the done day so that we can add the uh, menu items. So for adding the menu items, we have to type the name of the menu items. Now once the menu item is selected, you have to click on the price update. And here you can put the new price. Earlier the price was 45. Now we are going to make the changes like 50. Once we click, now we can see that the price that was showing before is 45. The current price which we have put is 50. And there is a price change of 5. Similarly, we can add multiple items. Now we will be taking another example of the menu item which have the sizes and the modifiers. So we are going to add a menu item called the beef burger. So once we have selected, you see it is asking these or this menu item has the modifiers. Do you want to add them for the sale? You have to click on no. Once you have clicked on no, now you see it is reflecting as the pin. That means you have to click on this. Uh, box. Once you click on this box, you have to click on the drop down and you have to click on the all sizes. If you want to make the changes for all the sizes of this menu item, or you can select any specific which you, which you want to make the changes. In this example, we will be ta taking the all sizes. So once we have clicked on the all sizes, now we can see the new price what we want to put for the whole burger. The new price is 20 and for the half burger, the price is 14. Once you have added all your menu items following the same way, you have to click on the valid to validate these changes. And once you have done it, click on save. This is how you perform the price updates for any specific branch using the price list option. Thank you.